Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last two classes, we have learned so many interview questions on Next.js. In this class, I am going to discuss about the following six questions. What is component? Types of component in React.js? Types of component in Next.js? How to create React component in Next.js? How to import React component in Page.js component and how to call React component. Remember that Next.js is based on React but it have their own types of components also and it use React components also. So first of all we have to understand what is component. So I open separate file for this and here the question is what is component. A function that return some value is called component remember point to be learned here a function in javascript we can say a function in javascript that return some value is called component very very simple remember that all the components are itself function but all the function cannot be the component the function only that return some value is called component if you want to use it in react remember that how i will show you now next question is types of component in react js answer is there are two types of component in react js first one is functional component second one is class component so functional component or we can say function component we can say function component or functional component same and class component so in this video i will tell you how to create functional component remember that i am not concentrating on class because nowadays nobody prefer to use classes in javascript so remember two types of and in functional component also we have two types of declaration two types of declaration first one is normal function second one is arrow function we can create component by normal function or by arrow function i will explain both now next question is types of component in next.js so here also we have two types client component and server component why because we know that next.js in first video i have explained that next.js use server side rendering and it can also use for client side rendering also so this client's component all components are from react all react js component all react js component is called client component because we know that react js use client side rendering next js use server side rendering because next js use and based on react js so next js can also render client side components also so there are two types of components in next year server side components and client side component all react js component like these components are called client side component but there are slightly some modification in client side component in react component that becomes server side component those are especially for next years so we will use in later videos about server side components also but in interview you should know the answer of these questions also remember now next question is how to create react component in next years so we go for practical now because it's a practical oriented question not a theory so here we have app directory under this we have a page component we have layout component also now we create own react component so under this same directory i create one more component and i give the name of this component is masses dot jsx we can give the name or js we can give the name and here i say i say rfce remember that i can say rfce or i can say rafce so it will a normal function you see function then function then we are exporting this function and because in react all the components have a capital letter first so here we are modifying this and we are converting in the capital letter remember that this should be a capital now you see there is a problem that is saying next slash babel the problem is here so we can modify this problem also and i will show you how to 
modify this problem so we have this file uh, link int file and here we make it an array and in this array we give one more information so i say next slash babel and one comma and save this remember that here the error is gone so in this file we set next dot babel plugin also are we extending this because it is required this pay this setting so we done this now error is gone now you see this is the functional component of simple type i explain you in this theory that the, we have a two types of functional component normal function and arrow function so this is a normal one create this and here we can say message so we say welcome to dr weapon classes you see for learning next.js remember so this is the message which we want to display great so we create this one and this we are exporting this remember that we can create more than one component also in this file but only one can be export like this i will create other also like arrow function i will do and i will show you that uh, two component in the same file and what is the difference between export and default i will show you each and everything each and every knowledge of this i will give you no need to go for separately learning react so you see that we have page here now because this we have created and we have to import this so name of this component is message remember m capital m capital should be in react so here we import i say import message you see from the message and i say remember m capital capital y because it's a component name this now this name and you see is a small one because it's a file name that's why and this is the message the by default is coming here welcome to first next year's application we are changing this message and we are changing with the component so i remove this and here i use my component i say message like this we use in react remember that the answer of last question how to call react component and how to import react component in page js how to create component react component in next js so i have explained you how to create we have created this separately how to import we just use import m capital because that's a component name same file we are using component we are calling this component here remember we can call it as a function also but here because this function is returning a value remember that i given in a definition also this is the most important point to be understand a function a javascript function that returns some value is called component if i remove you see automatically is change right now so if i remove this return statement then it will become function it would not be a component remember that so component always return it value here i am using here and it will return it value here so whatever i am writing in this component that will be replaced here in main tag remember this it's most important concept once again remember if component is a special function in javascript that return value a javascript function that returns some value is called react component and we use it here like this now we call it can we create more than one component in same file yes we can create i show you how but first of all see the answer if i change we have welcome to dr weapon classes for learning not yes remember that now we create one more component but now by using arrow function so i copy same remember and i paste it again and here i say it's a message to not a one and i say welcome to dr vipin classes for learning this i say welcome to second message Ma welcome to dr vipin classes for learning this by message second you see just for modification purpose again it returning but is not a arrow function so i want to show you how to use arrow so i say here the const remember and this is the function name this is the arrow function like this way remember we have changed to arrow and this we have to export remember that we can export only one component as a default but we can't export you see here we are 
having a problem so we define this like this under the bracket remember because for default I'll only we can leave this like that but for normal uh, we have to export like that otherwise we can put keyword export there also so here we can put export and same here we can put also like this I can put like this also both are same concept but I want to show you here especially that they these these functions are coming under the curly brackets remember that it is coming outside a curly bracket and default keywords there but the, if I want to import this remember if I want to import this I can't import like this message to I have to make a comma and separately I want to give here message to remember that only then I can import this the difference between default and non default component is only that we import it default component we import this without a curly bracket but normal component we import by using this under curly bracket now use is same if I say here so use is same I am not putting any uh, component inside this that's why using like this so you see use of these two component is same but import and export is little bit different because it's a way in JavaScript to import default or non default component and this is for function also same but only one default method is allowed in a single file if you want to create a more component as a default then you have to create a separate file and there you can do but here in this video I have explained you lot more things about component and basic fundamental knowledge that how to import and export if I save this and you see that we have a two messages here and the gap between these messages is only coming because we have a some types of validations here we have a space between so we can remove this and we can say uh, flex start I can say flex start like flex start not end flex start I can change this and you will see that uh, they are coming just after one line you see it's just a way of JavaScript so in this video I try to give you the answer of most important questions in react or next.js what is component I explain you once again I am just explaining you a special kind of function in JavaScript that or you can say in react or next.js that returns some value is called component component always a return a value remember function have a choice to return or don't return if function don't return any value this function cannot be used as a component but if the function return a value that function can be component remember so all the components itself is a function but all the functions are not component remember this types of component in react I have explained types of component in next.js I have explained how to create component in react in next.js I have explained how to import component I have explained there are two types of import default and non default I have explained how to call component default and non default I have explained so each and every concepts regarding component I have explained in this video in next video we will see how to pass the props and properties to these components like we do in react if you don't know react learn here if you know react then enjoy here so i think you like this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video